Two days ago, driving to work, I had a loud pop getting on the freeway, a whooshing sound. Thought the turbo went out, but the truck kept running, and uh, basically no turbo pressure was on the gauge. And um, by the time I got to work, I figured out that it was probably this hose here, and I'll show you. So here's the, uh, the warning that I got, and you can also see the mileage on this truck, only 65.7. But anyway, those are the two messages that I got last night coming back from work. All three of these codes were related to the DPF being overfilled, which said it required service from the dealer. But since I had the code reader and a laptop and Forescan, I was able to do a manual regen. In these slides, you can see that the DPF load is at 283 and the Preferred soot is around six. I started driving thinking it would clean the DPF on its own. When I was at low speeds, it started going down, but when I got on the freeway, surprisingly, it went back up. So then I knew that I was going to have to deal with a static regen. Here are some excerpts from the information from Ford on what these messages mean. You can look them up yourself. And we zoom in and it, it basically tells you you need to get the truck to the dealer. Um, I, like I said, have the laptop and the Forescan app and I was able, on the laptop, I was able to uh, take care of it myself and you'll see. All right, so I drove it and actually before I drove it, I cleared the uh, codes with my code reader here. I'll show you what I got here. Um, like I said, all the links in the description. Codes I got were still the same, 2463 and 246C. Still got the warnings, and this is after about an hour of driving. I got the little wrench, the check engine light, and then exhaust filter overloaded, drive to clean. But when I go to drive it, it ends up actually getting worse so we're up to about 300 percent on the soot percentage and um, I think the liters were like six liters or something the weird thing was when I'm sitting at idle the soot level was going down so now I've resorted to hooking up the uh, OBD link to the truck and I the reason I know these soot levels is because I have the uh, Forescan light app on my phone but I've also got this Forescan um, app on my computer, which is what I've done before to force a regeneration. And that's a whole big process. Different videos out there. I, I can't explain that here. But long story short, um, doing what I did with replacing the, the cold side charge tube didn't solve the, uh, the problem. So... Uh, I'm still working on it, and I'll let you know what happens here. All right, so we're going to do a static regeneration using Forescan in the computer. It's quite a process um, getting the program downloaded and programmed and everything. Uh, that's a totally different video that somebody else will show you on YouTube. But for now, we're going to continue with this process and see if that fixes my issues. I know some of the newer vehicles will allow you to select that option uh, to do a manual regen. Otherwise, you're going to have to take it to the dealer and have them do it. If you do end up going this route, uh, you can see that uh, i got the truck running. Still got the warning messages. And I just hope that I don't have to have the uh, filter removed and then manually clean, because that's gonna be expensive. Hopefully the manual regen here, the static regen works, but we're trying to get to the point where the software is happy with the parameters here. All right, well, that's a static regen. It's pretty loud and kind of scary. I wouldn't want to do it on a hot day, because this thing runs really fast and hard. So this goes on for about 20 minutes, just like it would on a on the road and you get this message Got that. hope I don't burn it up put a hole in the DPF
pleated, nothing exploded, down to 14% on the soot. And hopefully the codes will stay away when I clear them now. I'll let you know. Okay, so the uh, codes cleared on their own. I've uh, got nothing showing up here. I know this is probably more than a lot of you wanted to see because many of you don't have the problem that I had where you kept driving it and plugged up the DPF. <laughs> I'm guessing it was because of the temperature and the computer, you know, pushing more diesel in there and just plugging it up. So hopefully that solves the problem. And uh, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. Subscribe, check out the other uh, Super Duty videos that I've got on EMP shield, headlights, taillights, batteries, whatever. Thanks for watching.